There's a group of delinquent girls living under the flyovers in Seoul. They starve nine times a day for three days, but still insist on dressing up. Good looks are the basis for their scams. Stealing is how they make a living. On this day, in order to make a lot of money, Lily and her accomplices were going to blackmail a man. She sent her accomplice the room number while the man was in the shower, then quietly unlocked the door. Outside that door, her accomplices had been waiting for a long time. They scowfully photographed the evidence and demanded 10 million from the man. Unwilling to give in, the man fought back. During the fight, the man hit his head on the table and blood stained his towel. Realizing that the situation is getting worse, the men split up and run away. It was a snowy night in Seoul, as cold and dark as Lily's tragic life. Her best friend bought milk and bread with the only money she had left. But when she saw the milk, Lily frowned see in her tracks. On the milk carton was a notice looking for someone. The little girl was his half-sister. She stared at the milk carton for a long time, and a plan quietly emerged in her mind. She decided to take over her sister's identity to find the person who posted the notice. What she didn't know was that this decision was about to change her life. The person who posted the missing person notice is an old granny called Mary. Her granddaughter disappeared 12 years ago. 12 years ago, young Kylie lived on Jeju Island with Grandma Mary. Her father died on a hill, and her mom became someone else's mom. Although she didn't have her parents, Kylie still had a happy and joyful childhood with her grandma. Kylie was always afraid to go to the toilet at night. Grandma was always there to watch over her. One day Kylie had her eye on an expensive box of colorful crayons. Grandma would buy them from the owner with eels. With the crayons, Kylie began to practice drawing. Every corner of the house was soon covered with her drawings. When Grandma saw her, she would whisper that she should have bought them for her earlier. Sometimes Grandma would ask Kylie if she wanted to see her mommy. Kylie would always answer, I don't want to, because I have a grandma. Sometimes Kylie would ask Grandma some crazy questions. She asked her if the ocean or the sky was bigger. Grandma told her that the sea is bigger because the sea embraces the sky. That day, Kylie painted a portrait of her grandmother. As she was about to color her hair, Grandma urged her to turn off the light and go to bed, as they had to get up early in the morning to go to the market. Kylie had to put the crayons in her purse. When they arrived at the market the next day, Kylie spotted a blue and red bracelet. Grandma doted on her granddaughter and bought it without hesitation. She told Kylie to hold on to the corner of her coat. But in the blink of an eye, her hand disappeared. She kept calling out her granddaughter's name, but her granddaughter was no longer in the marketplace. Twelve years have passed in a flash. The old man's face was wrinkled with sadness. She never stopped thinking about Kylie, and she never gave up looking for Kylie. She still hoped that one day her granddaughter would come back to her. Grandma Mary was a sea lady. Every time she went to the sea, she would make a wish to a dolphin. It said that the dolphins are the spirits of the sea, and if you make a wish to them, the spirits of the sea will grant you your wish. I guess Grandma was so religious that her wish was finally answered. The police called to say her granddaughter had been found. Upon hearing the news, the grandmother rushed to the police station. As if she was afraid that her granddaughter wouldn't recognize her, she changed into the pink jumper she wore on the day she was separated. According to the staff, Kylie was taken away by her mom. But later, Kylie's mom died in a car accident. Kylie's gambler stepfather didn't want to raise her and send her to an orphanage. Grandma was so anxious that she trembled and pressed her hand prince to claim her. A few minutes of waiting seemed like centuries. Her granddaughter, who had been away for 12 years, reappeared in front of her eyes. She slowly raised her head, a moment she had been waiting for too long. The moment she saw the blue and red bracelet on Lily's hand, she was sure that the girl in front of her was his granddaughter. She asked Lily why she hadn't come to see Grandma for so long. She said her mom had told her that she had passed away. In the face of Grandma Mary's unreserved concern and love, Lily was at a loss for words. All these years, she has never felt any affection. That's why she's too embarrassed to face the camera in group photos. After 12 years of losing her granddaughter, Grandma Mary seems to have regained her youth. She's very busy and energetic. But Lily felt very embarrassed. So she goes back to her bedroom and puts back the golden crayon she's had for 12 years. Grandma Mary saw what Lily was doing. She went up to Lily and tried to calm her down. We have to live a good life together from now on. That night, Grandma Mary invited the neighbors to a dinner party. They chatted about Kylie's childhood. Grandma smiled from ear to ear, but Lily was so embarrassed that she ate her meal with a big mouthful. Perhaps worried that her granddaughter would disappear again, Grandma kept an eye on Lily. She taps on the door when she's in the shower. She would put her hand on Lily's shoulder when she slept. When Lily woke up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet, she would suddenly appear and bring Lily a light. The next morning, Grandma washed Lily's clothes. When Grandma learned that she had no clothes to change, she took her to the street to buy some clothes. These clothes were too old-fashioned for Lily. But Grandma thought they looked better and better. 
she bragged about her granddaughter. But when Lily changed into her school uniform, she suddenly wept. She sighs that the years have gone by and in the blink of an eye, her granddaughter will be in high school. Grandma's passionate love made Lily a little confused. She began to alienate herself from her grandmother. She called her girlfriends to complain or hide by herself on the beach to smoke in secret. After all, people who have been living in the dark suddenly see the sunlight and it's blinding. Then Grandma sent Lily to an art school. But Lily found that the teachers were unexpectedly strict with her. Lily was so uninspired in class that she had to finish her drawings before she could leave the school. But by sunset, Lily's drawing board was still blank. The teacher didn't want to waste any more time with her and impatiently asked her to leave. But when Lily got up, the lipstick in her bag suddenly fell out and suddenly she had an idea. Suddenly she had an idea. She started to smear it with her lipstick. After Lily left, the teacher slowly came to her drawing board. The evening sunlight outlined by the lipstick and eyebrow pencil was just like Lily's life, tragic and desperate. The teacher thought Lily had a real talent for drawing and he became stricter and stricter with Lily's instructions. But he thought Lily was always obsessed with dark colors and suggested that she should add some light of hope. Lily was at a loss because she didn't understand what hopeful sunshine was. She tries to find light inspiration in her sketchbook, but overhears Grandma Mary talking to the estate agent. The old house that she used to say she wouldn't sell, now for the sake of her granddaughter's future, Grandma chose to sell it without hesitation, thinking back to Grandma's hunchback. Lily was a little moved for a moment. She seemed to be beginning to understand what light was. But just as she tries to move closer to the light, this faint light is soon swallowed up by the darkness again. What will happen to her next? Will her relationship with her grandmother change? I'm Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.